We're also following a developing story out of Sarasota. Closure today for the family of a woman killed 35 years ago. Police say Joseph Magaletti killed Denise Stafford at her home in 1985. She was a new mom. As 10 Tampa Bay's Adoria Chumba explains, he wasn't entirely a stranger to the family. In 2015, 64 year old Joseph Magaletti died in prison where he was locked up for another murder. But now, with new DNA technology, police say he is the person who killed Denise Stafford. And Stafford's family was on hand to hear the news. Thank you so much to the Sarasota Police Department for 35 years investigating and com coming to the conclusion, finding that Mr. Magaletti was the perpetrator. Over the past year, detectives reviewed case files and crime scene evidence and say they finally identified a match through new touch DNA testing and technology. On those garments, underneath her knees and around her ankles from her pants, we got a DNA hit. And that came back to Joseph Magaletti. Joseph Magaletti was a person of interest in Stafford's murder, but not a suspect at the time. Investigators believe after attacking her, Magaletta's DNA ended up on her pants when he placed her on the bed in the wrong direction. They also believe he got entry into the home or was let in because he knew the family. The husband, Frank Stafford, worked with Magaletti at the playpen. So he was aware of what Frank did for a living and he was aware of his hours because he worked at a lounge, he worked late at night. Police also say as technology improves, they'll solve more challenging cold cases. For now, the family has answers. He's gone. He's not going to harm anyone else. That has been my hue and cry from the beginning. I didn't want to see any other mother go through what our family has. And investigators say they're looking into other evidence to see if Magaletti was involved in any other murders before they can determine if he was a serial killer. Stafford's daughter, who is now 36, was also at that press conference today, but she did not want to go on camera. The family says they're just glad this case was finally solved.